Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'll be discussing what I thought of uh, the most recent uh, revealing episode of uh, WandaVision. Of course, uh, it's Friday, so that means new episode, yay. Before I begin, of course, this is a spoiler-filled episode review, so if you're not caught up on WandaVision by this episode or previous episodes, you might not want to keep watching and or listening, because I will be discussing a doozy and slew of spoilers. So, you have been warned. That being said, let's jump right back into it. So, I guess the big fan theory uh, and prediction that, came, that people said was going to happen came true. Agnes is indeed the one who's responsible for everything that's been happening so far. Or should we say Agatha Harkness or Harkis? Here's the thing. I have no idea who that is. My comic book knowledge is a very, very limited, if non-existent. So I have no idea who or what Agatha Harkness is. She's obviously a magical, powerful sorceress woman, much like Wanda. So her powers and skills seem to match that of Wanda's so uh oh and she seems to be using them for nefarious purposes and she killed the dog oh that was dark so very dark god damn I also loved how this episode made fun of the whole mockumentary style of a tv show like Modern Family or in this case The Office was parodied which was done very well in that opening credit sequence that was awesome um, I love the fact how, you know, towards the end, Vision there realizes that while he's being interviewed, that he doesn't have time to sit and be interviewed for like a mockumentary or documentary, that he needs to get to work and figure out what the hell is going on. And so he just up and leaves the interview, rips the microphone off, you know, and then just gets out of there, which I always thought would be the funniest thing to see in one of those mockumentary shows. I think The Office might have done it once or twice, but not as frequent or as often as you might think. So I thought that was pretty good. And then Wanda seems to be losing her grip on maintaining this illusion that is this world. The But, uh, you know, with only two episodes to go, I guess that's kind of to be expected because the show can only end with the um, collapse of this fantasy bubble. And, um, you know, who knows what's going to happen after that. So... And then the other thing, too, that I really liked is that Monica apparently got herself some superhuman superpowers. You know, she forced herself through the bubble and uh, most of, like, I think Wanda's magical bubble thing gave her powers or superhuman strength because her eyes turned sky blue or light blue. And then she seems to be able to, uh, you know, deflect... Um, a uh, hit from Wanda, you know, from her power and energy, which means that she'll probably be a pretty good formidable match for Agnes if and when that confrontation occurs. And it seems like if Wanda gets pissed at her again, you know, she'll be a match for her as well. And she kind of was when Ma Wanda tried throwing her, like forcing her back with her energy, and then she did that awesome superhero landing thing. So that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, overall, very good show. Very happy that Monica now has superpowers. You know, we got our big villain reveal. You know, that was the question in everybody's mind. Like, who was this? You know, who is doing this to Wanda and why? So we got the identity confirmed of, as to who's doing this. Now the next question is why? Why is Agatha Harkness doing this to Wanda? Like, what is her, you know, gain? What's her, what's the gain to doing this? What is her goal or her purpose? Like, what are her nefarious plans? Also, what happened to those poor twins? Are they, did she kill them? Like, she killed that poor sweet dog? or does she just have them detained somewhere so with this big reveal i can only imagine what we're in for for the next two episodes so it's only going to get even better from here i feel so overall i enjoyed it um you know the big reveal that agnes was uh, agatha harkness you know wasn't as jaw-dropping as I would have liked to it have been. Then again, I don't have no idea who that character is, but because people have been theorizing and speculating since the show premiered a month ago that that was going to happen, kind of took the edge off for me. But I am pretty confident we've got some more bombshell reveals ahead of us, so I'm not too worried. Hope you guys enjoyed the show as much as I did. What did you think of this episode of WandaVision? I want to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome rest of your night. And of course, until next time, may the Force be with you.